joining us once again this morning, Dr. Hamil Conthry, the Chief Medical Officer for Dignity Health in the Central California Division. Joining us to talk a little bit more. Uh, First off, I want to talk about this surge testing. We just mentioned Dr. Cothry. Good morning. Thanks for being with us again, sir. So tell us a little bit about this surge testing. 60,000 tests per week. That sounds uh, massive um, and like a big deal, especially considering that Kern County has only done 108,000 total tests since March. I think that's a fantastic idea that, that Kevin's helping us bring these tests to, to the community. We need them. We definitely need them. There's been a five-fold to six-fold increase in the number of tests that are going out to the local labs currently, and that's why we've had such a backlog. So having these tests will only help us. And these tests will actually be able to be processed on site there? Is that how it works? I'm assuming so. I think it's going to be one of these rapid tests that will process within about 15 minutes. Okay. And, you know, speaking of rapid tests, and we don't know what specific tests they will be doing at this site just yet, but there is a lot of concern about the rapid tests because right now tests still take a few hours, but there are certain tests, some of them known as antigen tests, um, that can be done in a matter of minutes, 20 minutes or so. Um, but there's concern about those tests, correct? Absolutely. Um, just like the antibody tests, we're, we're not big fans of the antigen tests. Um, they also have a very high false positive and false negative rate. So um, we, we, don't, we don't like doing these tests. We like the, the normal molecular test, the PCR test is what we call them. The one where you swab the nose and you're actually looking for the virus. Okay, and the antigen test looks for something different contained in the body? Looks for, yeah, it looks for the protein uh, that the virus okay. sheds. Okay, all right, so uh, we'll, we'll learn more about this uh, new surge testing hopefully later today. Uh, let's talk about the surge in cases that we're seeing here in Kern County. We're seeing a surge in active cases. Um, we've had the, I believe, fourth record day in a row of new positive cases announced yesterday. Um, and all of all of the reported cases that we've seen in Kern County so far, most of them are actually active right now. Is that because more people are getting sick or because more people are getting tested? I think it's probably a combination of both. I, I definitely know more people are getting tested, you know, and I think the reason, primary reason for that is they now have loved ones or family members or friends that have got it. So they're, they're wanting to get tested as well. So definitely more testing, obviously, and as a result of that, we're having more positives and sick people as well. And, and just really quickly, are you still recommending that people only get tested if they have symptoms or if you know that you have come in close contact with someone who's positive, do you need to get a test? Um, the ideal situation would be to go get tested if you have symptoms. The issue is we didn't have enough uh, supply of our tests. Now that we have, we're going to have these, this large amount, I think it'd be fine to go get tested as soon as you have symptoms. As soon as you have symptoms, not, but not without symptoms? Yeah, I, I don't think it makes sense to test without symptoms. Okay. It's just a shot in the dark at that point. Okay. All right. So um, let's talk again about our numbers here in Kern County. We'd gone several days, uh, seen the surge in active new cases, but without seeing any new deaths reported. And then yesterday, we were hit with a report of 10 new deaths here in Kern County due to the coronavirus. Can you explain, and you've touched on this before, how deaths are a lagging indicator when it comes to this pandemic and this virus and what that means? Absolutely. You know, most people that end up in our intensive care units are typically in there for about three to four weeks before things go south and we decide that they're not going to make it and we pull them off the ventilator or they pass, their organs fail and they, pa they pass. So the three to four week time frame from when they end up in the hospital to when they expire typically. Okay, so that's why if we see a big surge in positive cases, the death rate is going to be several weeks behind that before we see what that actually ends up being? Absolutely correct. Okay. Um, we have nearly 2,700 pending tests here in Kern County now. And that was down into the hundreds just a few weeks ago, in fact. And we're hearing of testing backlogs across the country. Um, can you kind of tell us why we're seeing this happening and if we can expect any relief from this? So the, the reason, once again, is, you know, people are getting scared. People are coming up with symptoms. They also have friends and families that have it. So that's why they want to go get tested. I think with this relief that um, Kevin McCarthy is going to help us with in, in our community, I think that can only help. That's going to help uh, de-stress some of these local labs, the two big labs that are doing so much more testing, five to six time increase in their testing. So it will help decompress their testing levels and we can uh, funnel these tests over to this new site, wherever it may be. Dr. Anthony Fauci said yesterday that he doesn't believe that we will ever fully eradicate COVID-19. What, what do you say to that? 
you know, I, I would like to be more optimistic and say we will eradicate it. Um, I don't think we'll eradicate it this year. I don't think we get a break till probably March of next year. And what what will make that happen? What what's going to you know suddenly help us get past this? Well, several things. I think you know the vaccine will definitely help, um, and then I think ultimately we'll have herd immunity, and that's what's going to help eradicate this virus completely. All right, Dr. Hemelkothri, thank you so much again for joining us this morning, sir, uh, and we'll talk to you next week. Thank you, Maddie.